Hi, I'm Phil. I'm Deepa. Welcome to Whiskey Mystery and our Compass Box Shootout, round one. You have probably saw yesterday where we were just trying to separate these 17 whiskies out into groups that are somewhat similar. This group is the rich but no peat, or at least minimal. We don't think there's peat. Rich is the predominant note here. And we've so we've picked these four out of the 17 to face off each other because we thought on the nose they were similar compared to the others. And we wanted groups of four. We have not tasted. <laughs> so I right, pour pour the glasses. We'll give you our initial reaction and then we will go off and do our homework. But just on the initial reaction, let's which one do you think is the strongest and weakest? Let's try and do something similar, uh, simple. Ooh. No, stronger or weaker? Weaker. Stronger. I'm talking about ABV. Mm -hmm. I think this one might be the strongest, number five. Use this glass. This one seems pretty light. Okay, let's um, leave number five till the end. I think that might be a higher ABV. We'll go with, let's go with number one. Okay, are you ready for your first taste? <laughs> Actually, you go for a taste and I'll give initial nose reaction. Maybe a touch of matchsticks, a little bit cardboard. Little bit sweet, nothing too too big. Very strong ABV. Oh, strong ABV. Well, it could just be the first sip of the night. The number of flavour come across, and I'm really predominantly sherry. No. Okay. I think it might be first sip of the night. Have one more sip. I got mostly pepperiness than I got um, ABV. So I think it's strong. It's a peppery. Yeah. Euro European European oak, maybe? No, it's pretty light. <laughs> excited or not excited? Mm, I have to go back to it again. It hasn't been our favourite because it's sort of in the Glendronic range, isn't it? The pepperiness. Okay, let's go to number six. Maybe a mm, no flavour. Maybe a touch of smoke. Ooh, much more rounded. Doesn't have the pepper of that. I prefer the more than that. Definitely more more approachable, isn't it? I it's more to bourbon the sherry. It's quite soft. Could there be some grain in that maybe? Oh yeah, it could be. Um it definitely seems soft and rounded, doesn't it? It's weak. I get a little bit of Highland Parky sulfur here. Ah, that's quite, quite soft. It's like a sort of watered down Highland Park. That is the worst one. By worst, you mean the strongest in flavours that you don't like. We haven't had this one yet. There's more ABV in this, I think. It seems colder on the nose. Ooh. Winner! <laughs> Deepa didn't notice what I said. Very, very strong. Um, All right. Oh, uh, I'm getting it off. Uh, um, it, pure spice grass. Hold those thoughts. We're gonna go off, do our homework, spend some decent time with these, make our notes, come up with some names, and we'll come back for a vote and a uh, summary. <laughs> it's been about an hour. We've been trying to sip as little as possible because obviously Very something has to go on. So we're like trying to concentrate so hard. Okay, don't talk, have a little sip. Okay, I think it's this, this, this. You know, anyway. Overall, not really our 
flavour. I'm feeling preference. very sad. I'm not <laughs> enjoying myself. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. I, but I, I don't have any of them. It's a bit... Okay. Overall, I would say we're sort of in the... Actually, I quite like Glencadden. I put more over you. Sorry, I didn't mean score-wise, but I just meant in flavour profile. It's a bit towards the sort of Alvini, Glen Goyne type of flavours, which we haven't... They tend to not excite us as much as the more earthy, bourbon, peaty things. Anyway, in terms of ABV, though, we think these are probably lighter ABV, maybe mid-40s. This is maybe a little stronger, high 40s. This one could be over 50, but you know, it's maybe the strongest. So let's just go, uh, we did give them names. <laughs> Orkney Memory, Fennel Fireworks, Honeygrass, Spiced Apple. So Orkney Memory for me because uh, Highland Park, right? I thought I suffer. Matic. Yeah, so there's a little bit of the matchstick smoke and the sherry going on here. And uh, the uh, orange rind. Orange rind. Caramel. Bit of caramel. And also a funky honey. Yeah, uh, when we. Cheese. More disease. When we left the empty glass, it started to come up with that little sort of funky cheese thing. So. The expectation on the palate was quite high, but I got a very thin spice. Can you have a taste? A thin spice, what did I say? Yeah, thin spice, thin honey, heat, slightly metallic, empty licorice. Very buttery, thin. A, a tiny it's bit a of the matchstick. Money. <laughs> A waste of money. Okay, a waste of money from, from Deepa. So this is one where the, the nose is better than the palate and then the finish falls off. Stealing for all. <laughs> Don't give it away too early. Deepa wasn't that happy. Fennel fireworks. Um, for me, I got a lot of heat on this one. Oh, smells nicer now, actually. Light caramel dust. Yeah, you said a bit of molasses, delicate molasses. Funny now, bean. It is, it's quite, quite a bit sweeter, isn't it? ABV, maybe it's not. You thought 48 originally, but I was like, mm, I think it's a bit less, 46, 45. Okay, let me try. I'm not getting the fiery pepper that I got the first time. So things have calmed down. But it is kind of fennel molasses, isn't it? I, I like it. Pretty good, actually. A little bit sweeter caramel. It's got grassy, sweet. And that sort of caramel but, pepper but, fade but, is... it's weak. Still a bit thin. These both seemed quite young, or at least not very dense, and a bit... That's actually got quite a long finish now. Okay. Yeah, it's by nine. Not bad. Let's move on to spiced apple, number one. Mm. Sweet grass. Apple? Yeah, it's light fruit, like a red apple or something. If it, uh, roast bacon, coconut. Roast, yeah, something a little coconutty. This is definitely a bit more sweeter fruit. A little bit of oak dustiness about it. Maybe this is a bit older. Let me have a taste. Mm. It's like a, yeah. It's like a spiced apple. Nice fine heat bitterness rolling in. It's nice. I like the pepper, but I saw fruit. Yeah. So I know fruit. It does roll into caramel. 
a little bit of sort of those sherry flavors, like a, a touch fino mm. coming in now. I'm getting a, t- a metallic. Oh, we're getting a bit of metallic. That sort of honey vapor, a little bit of licorice kind of. That's quite nice. The finish is mm. longer. Definitely a better experience here than I got from these two. I'm pretty uh, sure. Forget this. Okay. Oh, quite a long finish. It's pretty good. Number five, honey grass. ABV did seem stronger. Could it be over 50? Possibly. Close to 50, 48 to 50. Like a uh, peanut oil. Yeah, it is peanut oil, isn't it? Sort of oily wood, oily nut, or earthy peanut. Now, not overly sweet though. I mean, it's maybe it's definitely the peanut, but peanut is by sweet. But no fruit, no fruit. So a little bit of sherry, I presume. I mean, we're sort of presuming these are all a bit sherry. Mm. Oh, deeper, richer and stronger. I get a, there's a nice char to this, a sort of a peanut char. It's bad. Thanks. Yeah. Honey, honey grass got across. Honey, it's like a, it's a, a grassy honey, isn't it? And then a peanut char, or some kind of char, kind of a little bit. I uh, uh, fine. Tannic. Okay, a bit tannic, fine heat, sort of toast dust. So overall, a kind of nut oil roasted dusty burnt. A longer experience. Let me go back to this. You really have this in first place? Oh, uh, but the practice. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I mean, I don't like this at all. To be able to get that. Yeah, I think, I think we're both disappointed with number 14, oh. Orkney Memory. I mean, but a waste of effort. A <laughs> waste of effort. <laughs> um, spiced apple. I liked the, I liked the richness of this. And I had the, the, uh, almost sweet. If I thought there's no fruit, it's more of a bourbon than sherry. Okay. Which one goes forwards though? Which one goes to the next round? No, we can't have two, only one. Oh, I see. Try this one again. It's got the strength. I think back is more of sherry. More of a bourbon. I, I like bourbon. I go for this first. Do you? I like, I like both. Fine. But the first you prefer. I, I prefer this more than that. Okay. Two have got to go through then. That's it. No, wait. We should reveal something. So if we're going to put these two ahead. We're going to reveal Spiced Apple and Orkney Memory. I mean, you know what they are, but we don't know what they are. Now, Compass Box that we have could be anything from $50 to $300. Oh my God, I need $300. Okay, I guess if we're going to reveal it, then we can, 
Which one do you want to read? I think we were most disappointed mm. with this one, weren't we? It's really bad. It's really bad? It's not that bad. I mean, it's not bitter. It's just water. ABV? 43. I don't know if they go to 43 compass box. I think 45 is probably their lowest. All right, number 14. Orkney honey. Let's see what it is. Compass box. Oh, it's 43. It is 43. It's a $70 bottle and it is Story of the Spaniard. Oh. Fine. Is it worth 70? No. Where would you put that on the shelf? I think it's, um, okay. Would I prefer Highland Park Valkyrie or the Spaniard? I'd rather add this. I'd rather add this. No. Mm. The apple for you. Okay, it's probably over there somewhere. Well, at least it was a cheap one. <laughs> uh, sp spiced apple. It could be another 43, couldn't it? No. Oh, 46. 45. Oh, no, that's right. We thought this one was a bit higher. 45, 46. 46. Okay. It is a cheap one. It's 46. <laughs> Compass box spice tree. It's 46. Spicy. Okay. Oh, yeah. Have we got spice apple? Well, what do we call that one? That was Story of the Spaniard, and this is spice tree and they can probably both go in about here. Whew, I feel, <laughs> I feel a bit relieved that we didn't like uh, throw out a $300 compass box. Yeah, I would buy either of them. Um, we don't have either of them. In terms of value, no, we don't own them. What was it? That last one was 55? I think that's a good whiskey for $55. Oh no, I'd rather have Craig no. <laughs> Look at Deepa, she's so sad, you know. I'm very, 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 very sad. She's like, I've wasted all of this drinking, alcohol, liver processing for that. Like, That's what she's thinking. But I'm really uh, to serve the so much effort, so much work. No, but to be fair, like but this is what you get for $55. Okay. You've got to remember, we are not drinking $20 whiskey here. This is still good quality whiskey. Fair it's, enough. It's just a $55 good quality okay. whiskey. Yeah, it's pretty good. Or 70 I mean, I, I prefer 35 over 70 I mean, if you think of this compare, compared to a Jameson or something. Mm. Or a you know a cheap blend. Oh, the baby at uh, the bin. Yeah, exactly. Johnny Walker Red Label, or Jim Beam, the white label one, whatever. Okay. I mean, these are all enjoyable. Uh, not bad. If you gave it to someone who'd never had a more complex whiskey, they would be yeah, but it's impressed. impressive is that you know date of fruit or bitter. There's no bitterness. Well, there's nice bitterness. Forty-six percent. So and 43%. Okay, so we did think that this was higher. Fine. <laughs> Whew. What the hell are these two? Next round. Well, actually, these will push on till the final battle, I guess. Let's, uh, let's line them up in here. We'll come back to these guys later. Whew. 